Hey everyone, Ali here. Well today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I have got this mannequin hand and it's just plastic and I'm going to decorate it. Now I am going to Mod Podge some napkin on it. So I've got these napkins here which are either two or three ply but I'm going to use the plain backing on this first and then I will cover it with the patterned uh, napkin. I also wanted to put some butterflies on this so because uh, I'm a bit of a lover of butterflies so what I have done is I've pulled out all my butterflies now I'm not sure which ones I'm going to use at the moment so I don't want anything really big um, on it but I do want uh, some smaller ones so maybe this size here so they're like a layering butterfly there uh, I might actually use these little butterflies here that's too big yeah, I could use those Oh, now these are great. These are layering butterflies and they came in a set of three from AliExpress. So you've got three size butterflies and you layer them. So I definitely want to use these uh, in my, on my hand. <laughs> so I'll use those. Um, yep. I think that might be a good size there as well. Um, so as you can see, I do have quite a few butterflies. So yep, I'll use those. I think I've got that one. Not sure about that one. And that one there. So I also have the Tim Holtz butterflies as well. So let's just have a look at uh, here. I think they're going to be too big for what I want. So I won't use those. Um, I also have some other butterflies. So I've got a little butterfly box here, which I could use, just the butterflies. Uh, but I've got this one here, and it cuts out... A, just the outline part there so I think I might use that and I'm thinking what I'll do is I'll cut it out of paper maybe black paper and stick it on the wrists there so I might do those the other thing that I might do is also layer these butterflies as well so I'll cut these parts out of other paper and just fussy cut them out so there's no stems and maybe of a coloured paper so anyway let's get started on uh, this project so what I'm going to do first is so I'm going to probably need oops, sorry about the wrinkly bits I'm going to need a couple of these so this is really a gorgeous napkin here so I think what I'll do is, there's my tape. Now it doesn't matter if the backing, um, okay, so it looks like it's only a two ply. I'm going to use this part just to, because this is plastic, to um, cover it. Now, what I think I might also do is I might gesso this because it is plastic actually. So I'll just pull these apart. these little parts here and 
And I saw that technique on YouTube by somebody, I'm sorry, don't know who it is, about the um, sticky tape. So getting the backing off the sticky tape. So, and it works really well, as you can see. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so I've done that. I'm just going to get my gesso and we'll start applying some paint. Okay, so I've decided that I'm going to use these butterflies here. So I've got two layering sort and just some other, um, other single sort. I'm going just to cut them out on some white cardstock here. Okay, these ones here I'm actually going to cut out of some black metallic paper that I've just painted with some um, deco art metallic black pearl paint so and that there will be uh, the part that will go up the wrist here so I'll cut everything out and I'll be back
I hope you've enjoyed my process video on my mixed media mannequin hand. Um, all up, it did take me roughly about four hours, so I had cut the video right down to a more of a watchable video for you because I don't like videos going on too long. Uh, but I've got this beautiful uh, little quote down here that I've made up myself. That was from the Tim Holtz um, sticker pack that I've got. These are the layering dies that I've got here. Absolutely beautiful. So I wanted that as my focal point. Uh, I used also the little butterflies out of this and just cut them out of black cardstock and just sort of placed them um, around on the hand. So uh, the butterflies up here uh, with the black cardstock behind absolutely um, I think sets it off. Now if you do want to do something like this I would suggest do your uh, gesso but leave it overnight to really really dry at the moment here on the Gold Coast so it's Easter Friday um, 2018 and it's raining here so uh, we've got a lot of moisture in the air and I think the gesso didn't really dry because when I used the napkin backing so the plain part when I pulled the patterned part away I used that and it was sliding um, through the gesso so and the gesso was lifting off so if I would do it again I would have left it overnight I did dry the tissue paper um, fairly well with my heat gun as well and when I did the patterned tissue paper I put a piece down dry it put another piece down and dry it so, and you'll see in the video, I actually cut slits in and that was to uh, try and make the patterned paper looked consistent on the hand. So, uh, and I think it worked out really, really well. So that's the back of the hand. I did consider of painting the nails actually, <laughs> so, which I haven't done. Um, this will be at the back. Uh, against the wall so this is what you're going to see from the front here so um, consider doing a piece like this mixed media uh, can be done on anything it can be done in a book um, it can be done on a hand but if I hope you have enjoyed this process video if you have please give me your thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't done so already. Please consider sharing also if you do like this as well. Now I will be doing some mixed media stuff like this uh, in the coming months. Uh, so you'll have to stay tuned and see what I create. So I've got a couple of ideas. All I'm going to say is it's not going to be a hand. <laughs> So, so I really hope that you have enjoyed this. I'd love to hear your comments as well down below. Um, all the supplies that I have used today will be over on my website and that will be linked down below in the description. But until next time, everybody, happy crafting. See ya.